I first heard about Lady Bird Animal Sanctuary with a photo book that was done a few years ago and the proceeds were going to this particular rescue and I bought it as a gift. And then I started following them on Instagram and have been following the stories of some of their harder to adopt dogs or special needs dogs. I heard about Lady Bird through the animal services and I know that they tend to take some animals that may not have otherwise got adopted and give them a second chance. What I love about the most about Ladybird is how, how much they support the foster families and how much they support the adoptive families. So that's one thing that's really important. So there is follow through. I love how interactive they are. I love on social media and on their website, the photos that they have from the wonderful volunteers and from themselves and the descriptions, the really detailed descriptions that they have are just, you get such a sense of what the animals are like. They're just down to earth people. There is no stress working with them. There is no drama. It's just perfect, good work that they're doing and it's uh, really enjoyable. We have such a problem with so many animals being in shelters now and I think morally we are kind of obligated that we should do something about it. So I'm super impressed with them. They're great group of ladies. They do so much and uh, yeah, I'm just really stoked to be here. I love that they're looking at rehoming hamsters and rabbits and rats and pets that are in need of a good home. I think that looking at older dogs or situations in where people can no longer care for their dogs is really important too because life happens and it's unfortunate when you have to give up a pet and having a place where you can see the progression in their health and see also the follow-up stories of how happy it makes someone else to have that pet in their life is so important.